Hey everyone, my name is Zach Smith and I'm a small animal veterinary surgeon. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the cranial cruciate ligament, um, which is a ligament that is found within the knee. And we'll also talk about the TPLO procedure a little bit later. So one of the most common injuries in the dog is um, related to the knee or the stifle. This is the on the back leg and I, usually what will happen is, is a dog will either have what's called acute lameness where we're playing with a ball or a stick or something like that and we come up acutely lame so it happens all of a sudden. The other way that we see this manifest is kind of this slow progressive process where we'll have a little lameness here and then we'll recover after a week or two and then we'll have a little lameness again and recover. And then ultimately we'll see that progress into a full lameness where we don't recover from it. So what is the cruciate ligament and where exactly is it? So if the cruciate ligament lies within the knee and the equivalent in people is the ACL um, ligament and, and that's one that most people know about because it's a very common injury in people as well. So because the cruciate ligament is located in the knee itself, it's not a supporting structure outside the knee like the ligaments in your ankle or something like that, because it's inside the knee, it does not have the capability to heal once it's torn. The reason for that all comes down to blood supply. So blood supply is necessary when you hurt anything in your body. The way that you initiate healing is you form a clot and that clot creates the scaffolding and provides all the stimulus for healing. Because of the ligament being inside the knee, any clot that tries to form is washed away immediately, kind of like if you cut your finger and you put it under the sink, it just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. Take it out of that water, that running water for a minute, put a little pressure on it, and you'll get a blood clot and you'll stop bleeding. Well, you, because the cruciate ligament can't form that blood clot, it can't form that scaffolding, it can't get that healing to progress. So we consider any injury to the cruciate ligament or the cranial cruciate ligament to be a surgical condition. Why is that? Again, because it can't heal, and the way that the body tries to heal it is by scarring down around the knee, which most commonly leads to progressive arthritis and an inability to use that limb down the, lay, um, down the road. So what does the cranial cruciate ligament do? So the cranial cruciate ligament has three functions. One of those functions is to prevent what we call cranial tibial thrust which is the ability for the thigh bone to slide off the back of the shin bone. So the knee is made up of the shin bone and the thigh bone, and the cruciate ligament acts like my finger there, preventing the shin bone from being able to slide forward or the thigh bone from being able to slide backwards. So you lose that cruciate ligament, you get the ability for that thigh bone to slide backwards in respect to the shin bone. It also prevents internal rotation of the shin bone, and it prevents hyperextension of the knee. When we talk about dogs, the most common thing that we're going to try to want to address surgically is that cranial tibial thrust, that ability for that thigh bone to slide backwards off the shin bone. The reason for that is because dogs stand with an angle to their knee, a 135 degree angle, it's very uncommon for them to reach hyperextension. And because they don't plant and turn like we do, they don't wear cleats, they don't wear basketball shoes, something that sticks their foot to the floor before they turn, they don't have a very high propensity of internally rotating that shin bone. So if we can get that cranial tibial thrust under control, the supporting structures, the other supporting structures of the knee, like the muscles and other ligaments, can help to provide that um, resistance to internal rotation and hyperextension.